welcome to this year's first episode of the Reading Uni News Show. I'm Emma and we've got a lot coming up in today's show, including an exclusive interview with our very own Rusu President and an all-important message about Breast Cancer Awareness Month. President Molly Cleaver is here with us to speak about the Change It campaign. The scheme allows students to put forward ideas, no matter how big or small, to be looked at by Rusu and voted on by student voice. Previously passed ideas have included the campaign for environmentally friendly problems and the improvement of mental health support. I'm now joined by Molly Cleaver, our very own Rusu President. So Molly, how can students submit ideas to the Change It campaign? So submission is really easy and it takes less than five minutes. You just need to head to rusu.co.uk slash change it and click on submit now and you can follow through the process really easily. Okay, perfect. And for some inspiration, what kind of ideas can students submit to the campaign? So we've had a broad um, variety of ideas that have been passed um, through recently, uh, such as the 3G pitch, um, lobbying the uni to improve uh, mental health support um, and the tax on plastic straws inside the union. So really it's, um, it's anything that you're passionate about and you think will help to improve and enhance the student experience. So already it's making such a huge difference across campus. And what is the process of the campaign? So once you've um, submitted your idea through to change it, it will go through an ideas feasibility group um, and we'll be able to establish whether it will go through as a policy um, or as a campaign or um, if it needs to get rejected in which we'll, we'll explain that. Um, so once it's gone through that process it will go to student voice um, where student voice uh, members can debate and vote on the, um, on the idea that's gone through. So if it goes through student voice it goes to an all student vote um, in which it needs to get over 200 votes to be passed. Uh, and then if it gets passed, it will be mandated to an officer for the next two years. Okay, perfect. And is it likely that these ideas will be passed? So when they're um, debated at student voice, that's a really crucial time for the idea to, to be pushed through. Um, so if you have submitted an idea, I'd really encourage you to go out and talk to people, get them to come along to student voice, um, get them to talk about it to their friends, because the more people that know about the idea and can get on board with it, essentially the more votes you'll get and the more chance the, the idea will be pushed through. Okay, brilliant. And lastly, how are you finding it? We're a few weeks into turn now. How are you finding being Rusu president? It is chaotic <laughs> and full on and it's busy, but I love it. Um, when, when no one's here in the summer, like there's no buzz, it's, it's so quiet. Um, and I, I did the job because I want to talk to people. So having having everyone back now, um, when term started, the buzz is back on campus, and the changes that we've um, we've all made over the summer, we're actually able to see that impact now. So it's really exciting. That's so good to hear. Well, we think you're doing an absolutely excellent <laughs> job. So and thank you for everything. Thank you so much for joining us today in the studio, and hopefully we'll be speaking to you soon for more interviews. Thank you. That was Rusu President Molly Fever. Now you might have seen it whilst walking through campus, but if you haven't, the Palmer Building is home to a brand new wall poster. The poster displays the climate strikes graphics which were created at the University of Reading by climate scientist Professor Ed Hawkins and shows the rise of average temperatures in every corner of the globe. This is just one of the many ways in which the University of Reading is having a positive impact on a national scale and emphasises its aim to become one of the world's leading universities for climate change. Now, October celebrates many occasions, including Halloween and Oktoberfest. However, it also marks Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Charlotte Hyde, president of the Reading Uni Boob Team, is here to tell us more about it. Hi Charlotte, thank you so much for joining us in the studio today. So you're the president of the Reading Uni Boob Team. Tell us a little bit about the society. Um, so we represent Copperfield, the uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Charity on campus, and basically we work to encourage everybody to be checking breast tissue. So that's whether you have boobs or you have pecs or anything. Um, just um, to get to know what's normal for you. So if anything changes, you have the confidence to go to your GP and say something's changed, can I please get this checked out? 
Um, so it's really important for early detection of breast cancer because it's actually not just women who can get breast cancer. And how are the Red and Blue team supporting Breast Cancer Awareness Month? Um, so we're doing a bake sale next week in Rue 11 till 4. I think that's outside the merch stand, uh, merch shop. Um, basically we're um, selling cakes in order to raise money for Hoffield because they do such important breast cancer work. Um, we're also um, spreading awareness on social media. So that's a really great way for if anyone wants to get involved um, to um, spread our text code. So if you text UBTURR to 7500 uh, altogether, um, you get a free text reminder every month to just remind you to give your boobs or pets a little feel um, and check. So that's really good. Okay, so making sure that the awareness is still being raised. Um, and what can people do to get involved in Breast Cancer Awareness Month? Um, some people, some workplaces do stuff with other charities, not necessarily with Copper Feel. Um, I know personally on Saturday when I'm at work I'll be in um, Pink because we do a with Pink Day. Um, you can get involved by just sharing stuff on social media. Instagram stories are a really, really great way to spread the word. Um, you can share our posts, you can come to our bake sale next week. Um, you could bake for us if you wanted to, bring them along. As long as you've got a full list of ingredients, home use food rules. Um, there's, there's loads of ways to get involved. If you just check out the Copperfield Instagram, which is at Copperfield People, or our Instagram, which is at Reading New Boot Team, you can share our posts. Um, that, but yeah, that's a really, really great way for everyone else to get involved. Okay, and going back to Instagram, can you tell us a little bit about the hashtag Grab Life Letters on Instagram? So it's actually Copperfield's 10th birthday this year. Um, so 10 years ago, Chris, uh, Chris Allen just started the charity. Um, and she wanted everybody to do a hashtag grab a life letter to themselves 10 years ago. Um, any advice that you'd want to give to, your, to yourself 10 years ago. Um, so personally for me, it would be for me when I was 11 years old. Um, so my grab a life letter was to me in 2009. Um, and again, all of, the, all of our committee have done grab life letters on our Instagram. So if, again, if you head to our Instagram, you can have a look and see what we've said. Um, but, Feel free to recreate um, what we've done. Just post a picture of yourself 10 years ago, um, put hashtag grab life letter, tag Copperfield people in it, um, and write whatever you want, and you might get on their story. Um, you never know. Okay, amazing. Well, thank you so, so much for coming to speak to us today. It's such an important message to spread, and we hope that everything is a success. Thank you. It's now time to get some updates on the Reading Knights sports fixtures. So here's Luke with some exciting information about a new segment that's coming to the Reading Uni News Show. That's right, Emma. I'm excited to announce Rue TV's brand new sports segment of the Reading Uni TV show. Each week, I'll be giving the latest results of Reading Knights fixtures as well as a wider range of sports. So keep tuning in to find out more exciting sports updates. Thanks Luke and Luke will be back in the next episode for the launch of our brand new sports segment. That's all from us here at the Reading Uni News Show. For more videos from Rue TV visit our YouTube page or follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more information. We'll see you soon.